Good morning, folks. Happy Friday. Welcome to another Ride to Work with me. We're cruising along. We are almost done with this segment. I um, want to talk about something that uh, affects all of us, but few of us really talk about it, share it, or try to show it. Even though it's something that people around us that are close to us will notice, it's not something that anybody really is good at expressing. At least anybody I've met at this point. Um, we're going to talk about overwhelm. So, overwhelm hits all of us quite often and sometimes it hits hard. The reason I'm talking about this, usually I have a client or an experience or family that really sparks something in me throughout the week that I want to talk to you guys about. So, what sparked this this week is me, my own personal experience. So, I got just tanked with overwhelm on, on Tuesday this week. It was it was rough. Um, a lot going on with you know the current business. We're trying to make some advances and improve things for our client experience. I had meetings about that. The event I'm running in Virginia for Enlifted is three weeks out, and there's final three weeks of an event. If everybody ran an event before, is like it's crunch time. This is when shit gets real. So. That hit hard. Um, I'll say it now since I only have a few of you viewers, but uh, we're expecting a, a third child in our family. Um, we're, we're through the first trimester, things are going great. But that life changing thing, especially for me at 42, um, scares me a little bit. I'm excited, I'm, I'm something we definitely wanted as a family, but I'm scared because I'm a little older and I lost my parents young, they were both 60. So, 18 years from now for me. it's That creeps into my head. Yes, they're different. Yes, I'm healthy, whatever. But it still, it still lives in there somewhere. Um, so, you know, there's, there's a lot that goes along with that. You know, money and space and time and, you know, how you do this, how you do that, where are you going to put things. Like, what, just, there's a lot of questions around adding another child to the family. Um, Business-wise, you know, opening a second location. Uh that's still going. Like we're going through permit processes and working with townships and engineers and all that nonsense that comes along with it. And it's all, it all came together this week to the point where um, my stomach knotted up. It was difficult to breathe. Heart rate was high. Um, you know, it just it's like your first experience of pre-workout almost like, holy shit, here we go. And like, I was trying to not show anybody. And I think I did a pretty, pretty damn good job because no one's asked her, no one's said anything yet. So that's good. But, um, you know, I got home. And my wife just had this, this day from hell because she volunteers as a, a cheer coach in a youth organization for our, our daughter's school and a coordinator. And typical entitled bratty parents just being a pain in the ass. This is what it is. There's no no rhyme or reason why they're they're cruel and mean. They're just entitled brats. And if any of you watch that, and if you are one of them, which I don't think you watch my stuff, but if you are, it's a fact. Sorry. Um, so she was just getting beat down and beat down and beat down by some about stuff that she couldn't control, but it all hit her because she's the coordinator. And that's what you take on as in you know, a leadership role. You get the brunt of of the stress. And she was having a rough day. She was crying, upset. Meanwhile, I had a really bad day with some contract stuff for an event and timing and orders and phone calls and stuff at work that I was trying to work through to where my heart rate's racing. She's crying. So what do I do? I can't tell her about my day because at that time... We needed to work through hers. All right. So I can't, I don't have the opportunity at that point to be emotional and overly stressed. How do you, how do you handle it? Do you snap? I was close. Cause then kids cry and scream and yell and don't want to eat their dinner and aren't ready for dance or cheer or whatever the hell we're doing that night. Like it was a day. 
What do you do? It's really simple. It's the most elementary thing that you do on a daily basis that you don't even know is happening. You breathe. You're like, you guys are waiting for some magical answer on how to handle stress and how to handle overwhelm. That's it. That is literally how simple it is. When you're stressed and overwhelmed, your heart rate is up, you got a knot in your stomach, I guarantee your shoulders are up a little higher. All right? And you have tightness in your chest, your, breathe, your breathing is short and rapid. But you're not entirely conscious of all these things happening. But when you're conscious of that, you need to focus on counting when you breathe. Focus on where your breath is coming from. There are nerves in your stomach, this is why when you eat you're happy, um, that when you learn how to belly breathe and breathe into your diaphragm as it expands, it almost sends a euphoric trigger to your brain that you're relaxing. That's why Wim Hof works. Part of the event we're running in Virginia is has a Wim Hof experience in it, so that's why we're doing it. You can almost get you can almost get euphoric and like high by breathing correctly. If you haven't done it yet, you can find a really, really good Wim Hof practitioner. No, you don't get the ice bath or whatever else. Just lay down and go through it. Like it is an experience. But if you breathe through your nose, full breath, say it's five seconds in, I want you to exhale audibly for six to seven seconds. Get all of the air out. The only way to do that is to, at the very end, Bring your shoulders down and relax and finish the exhale. I love the, so it'll be like five seconds in, five seconds out, five seconds in, five seconds out, or whatever that, that deep breath is for you. It's so someone with their, their capacity, you know, six, seven, seven, eight seconds, whatever it is. Try to get five in and get one or two extra out. Just for those first couple breaths, to really clear the system and make sure when you're doing it, it's not, it's not your chest up and down, it's your chest out and your belly out. So relax your diaphragm, relax your stomach, and breathe. Breathe. Your entire nervous system will relax. As you're doing that, in your mind, once you get your rhythm and breathing down, start thinking about the overwhelm. Is any of it really that bad or is it stuff you can work through? In my in, in mine, my experience this week, there were things that were not bad at all. They were just compiling at the time that, th that made it seem worse than it was. There is a particular contract issue I was working through that was a bigger deal, or, or still is a bigger deal, still working through it, that kept popping up. So I worked through solutions as I was breathing. And I realized that there are plenty of solutions. I'm gonna figure it out. The baby stuff. We're a great team. The family is solid. We're gonna figure it out. gym, changes, experiences, advances, they're moving. Fast or slow, they're moving forward. The new gym, fast or slow, it's moving forward. All that stuff is actually moving in the right direction. And, if, and the contracting that was kind of stalled in an issue, what I could do, the options that I could do, Control the outcome were done and they were passed on and I was waiting for a reply. So was it worth it until I got to get the reply to be overwhelmed and 
and stressed and freaked out. Yeah. So while I gave myself moments of breath to calm down, rationalize, think, and dispel that overwhelm, clarity came in and I realized where I was. I was able to sleep. I've been able to sleep all week. Uh, I'm a five to five to six hours guy, but I was able. To, those five, I was getting those five to six hours. All right. I felt refreshed the next day because I woke up knowing what needed to be done, what I could control, and what I could not control. All because I took the time to breathe and process and then dispel that overwhelm. So that's a little, it's, this might be a little too airy for some of you guys, no pun intended. Um, but shit works. I wouldn't have re- agreed with it two years ago. I wouldn't have understood it two years ago. I'm telling you right now, just breathe. All right, folks, have a great weekend. Have an awesome day. It's beautiful out. Fall is here. Thank God. This is my favorite time of year. I do not like pumpkin spice. I never will. But the weather's perfect. So enjoy it. And, like I said, just breathe.